I didn't have that in my life either when my life fell apart. I spent a year sleeping on a mattress in a downtown apartment, completely broke, sleeping on a floor. I pastored in Calgary for, um, I think, 18 years. Fairly large church, First Assembly. I led a ministry called To Heal Monday. It was really successful. Planted 10 churches, started the Dream Center. A lot of really cool stuff. And I was a professional attention payer. Paying attention, preaching, teaching, counseling, guiding, coaching, planting, holding the hand of the person who's passing away at their bedside when they're passing away. Sitting with the mom who's son is out doing drugs and she's completely distraught. But it was just not on my radar that I needed to have people pay attention to me. Complete humiliation and embarrassment, losing my ministry, losing my marriage, strained relationships with my children, loss of friendship, loss of reputation, loss of respect, complete collapse. And I was mega successful and it all felt like a house of cards. Well, I just closed up. I'm like, well, if the cost of vulnerability is that you actually end up having just the secret thoughts of your heart that you haven't even acted on, shared with people who are in positions of authority who can completely change your life just by signing a piece of paper, uh, that cost is just too high. And so I went further into isolation. The solution or the answer to that challenge is found in vulnerability. You get people to pay attention to you. If you gotta pay money to get to have someone pay attention to you, that's fine, let's do it. The amount of money I lost by having my career collapse that I could have spent on counseling or coaching, the amount of pain, the amount of shame and humiliation, embarrassment that I could have avoided if I would have spent 150 bucks a month on a therapist. So silly. So I'm a big fan of accountability and having accountability partners, but I'm also a bigger fan of testing people. You know, you wanna test people out a little bit and see, are they worthy of your trust? Because you are worthy to have somebody who is trustworthy in your life. Having said all of that, don't stay isolated. You know, because it's actually possible to find a place where you can be who you are and not be kicked to the curb, right? That is really important to notice. Isn't that a wonderful moment when someone sees you for who you really are and they still love you? Being fully seen and fully known, and according to the, the, the religion and the tradition, that is a transformational moment when someone sees you.